here with Kevin Hassett from the American Enterprise Institute, former Fed economist. So uh, I want to start by asking you, officially the topic of this hearing is sort of linking bank supervision and monetary policy, but there's a turf battle going on here. What, what, what does Ben Bernanke have to do to make the case the Fed should be the systemic regulator? Right. Well, there is a big time turf battle going on. And the fact is that congressmen kind of blame the Fed for the financial crisis, in part because Fed supervision was lax. The Fed didn't do a good job of making sure that the banks were doing well. And, you know, proof is in the pudding. Look at how all the bailouts. And so what Bernanke's doing right now is he's giving a really defensive testimony. He's saying, you know, well, we looked at what we did wrong and we can fix it and there's not really much reason to send authority anywhere else. And indeed, there are also reasons why you might want to bond together monetary policy and bank regulation. And he goes into those as well. And it's clearly the first shot in a big turf battle. Well, this is also the first time we've heard from him publicly since Senator Dodd announced his plan. This committee, they've already got a bill. The House has mm -hmm. passed it. But they're going to have to mesh together what they've done with the Dodd bill. So where's where's the room for Bernanke to change some minds? I think that uh, what's going to happen likely is that Bernanke is going to give them a backup plan that they might well end up taking because there's a big difference between the Frank bill and the Dodd bill, and and nobody's really sure where it's all going to end up. And if the Fed can come out and say, look, don't don't even bother, you know, we're going to clean up our act, and you don't need to legislate in order to have help us clean up our act, then it's going to take a lot of pressure off them. I think everybody after this health care debate is going to be so fatigued that they're just not going to be ready for another big knockdown drag out fight over uh, financial reform. So an easy out would be helpful to sort of get that That's glide right. path going now. So, so Bernanke is up here today kind of defensively fighting the turf battle but also saying look guys you know here's an easy out I I'll fix it and, and then you don't have to have this big battle. Now Paul Volcker is obviously also up there. Mm -hmm. This Dodd plan is a weaker version of the Volcker rule than the president wanted than Paul Volcker wanted. And they don't really have one in the Barney Frank bill. Mm -hmm. So what's Volcker's role? Well, I think that Volcker it wants to narrow the focus and maybe address the proprietary trading that goes on. But the problem is that that, that kind of action might make things worse because then, you know, maybe the only thing that a bank can do is to hold real estate things. And we know how well that worked last time. And so, and so I think diversifying what banks do is a good idea and that these Volcker rules are probably going to die on the vine because they're really bad ideas and people will figure it out. The Consumer Financial Protection Agency, that's obviously one of the big sticking points mm -hmm. between the, the House and the Senate here. This committee, these House folks voted for a standalone consumer protection agency. Mm -hmm. Is there anything Ben Bernanke can say to them, or even Paul Volcker, to convince them they don't need their own agency? Well, I don't know if he's going to convince the people today, but the fact is that I don't think that there are a lot of senators who are convinced. The, the House is pretty far to the left. As we watch Pelosi uh, work, we, we learn that every day. And, and the, the House doesn't really mind making it so that everybody who, who lends anybody money has to answer to this big new regulatory body. But the Senate, I think, is not going to do that. And so I think that the big consumer financial protection agency is kind of dead on the vine. J just quickly, this is not a crowd that's particularly warm to the Fed anyway. Uh, who, besides Ron Paul, should we be watching on the committee? Uh, you know, I think that, that the, there are a lot of members, the members of the Black Caucus and so on, that, that are really concerned that uh, the Fed might might turn towards uh, a harsher policy towards inflation too soon. Right now, the uh, black unemployment rate is about 7 percent higher than it is for everybody else. And so I think that there are a lot of other factors, in addition to financial regulation, that will be between the lines in the question and answer period today. But I think that I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if especially the, the, the black members of the caucus are, are pushing the Fed to you know, say, well, what more can we do, given how bad it is. It's been a great recession for, for whites, but it's been a great depression for blacks. And that's something they've talked about a, a lot, lot in, in these right. previous hearings that we've had before this committee.